So today, we're going to be hopping straight into the smashing draft to see how far can I go. A new um, draft challenge just, uh, just came, so we're going to try it out and see how far can we go. My name is 2Mike, and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Let's just hop straight into it. So for this, you just got to choose cards. That's pretty much it. It's like a regular, it's like a regular draft. So you just pick one, the other one gets destroyed, and just continue until you pick a deck. It's it's pretty much like a draft, a normal draft challenge. Um, even though the barbarian got a nerf, we're going to pick the barbarian. We're also going to pick the mice bandit. The mice bandit also got a nerf. I'm not liking this too far. We'll pick the skeleton because we don't have anything to use for the naga, and let's pick the sentinel because the sentinel is just too strong. So let's just see. How well we do with this deck. Starting off, let's... I could always set the Sentinel towards this Sentinel. Yeah, let, let's just do that. Sentinel is just too strong, so we're just going to use the laser beams. Honestly, that was very weak. Weaker than I expected, but that's fine. He is going to use the Sentinel. His Sentinel did uh, so much so much more damage than I did, so there's that. Let's try to double hit the Sentinel. Hopefully the Striker... Hits my sentinel just to get some damage going on. Yes, we do. Look at that. And oh, a double hit and the fire hitting all four troops. That was very good. Of course, we're just playing. We're just playing with the sentinel. That goes to show you that the sentinel, um, the sentinel is definitely something. That's for sure. Let's actually hit the the his sentinel. Hopefully, my barbarian hits my sentinel. Oh, there. Okay. You know what? We'll take it. And his Sentinel is still alive. Oh my goodness. And his Striker as well. Oh my goodness. This is just crazy. So my, now my Sentinel, or not my Sentinel, my my Spendit is dead. And my Barbarian, no, my Barbarian is still alive. Okay. But still, look at this. God, Lee, what is happening? Let's see if we can just quadruple hit his skeleton. Maybe not, but we're going to try it anyways. We weren't. We just double hit the skeleton hitting the golem once. That's fine. His sentinel goes next. He may take out my sentinel. I don't I don't know. I don't know if he wants to go for that. He just triple hit. Okay. My barbarian is dead. Okie doke. Let's uh we're gonna have to go for direct damage here. We do this. We just took out this. We just took out a skeleton, and then we didn't want to do that. But if we can take out both the golem and the sentinel right now, we're going to get a triple kill for the win. And I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I think the golem just needs one hit. Yep, the golem needs one hit, so we should definitely get this win right now. As long as I don't miss, it should be right here. There you go, we got the win. That was a very close match at the end there. The skeleton, my skeleton only had 70 health, which if his skeleton would have uh, got revived, we would have lost because we only needed one hit to die. So that was an incredibly close match, but we managed to pull off the win right there. So that's one win. We're on the board. Hopefully we can continue on. Um, we're definitely going to pick the blacksmith for, for sure. We're definitely going to pick the blacksmith. Um, the champion. The champion is, has been has been rocking it, that's for sure. We're definitely going to pick the Seder because now we have blacksmith Seder combo. And we're going to pick the Skeleton because I don't have anything to enchant his troops. If he, you know, with the Armadillo, I would have liked it, but, you know, what can you do? His Giant goes next, alright. Uh, he's just going after my blacksmith, okay. Let's just... Enchant the Seder and the Champion here. The Champion should hit his Ice Queen. There you go. And my Skeleton hit his Giant. Okay. So now we got two troops enchanted. We got the Seder enchanted. That's the most important one. Because now, other than, you know, he can survive a little bit longer. He can deal damage. So there you go with that. Um, let's... We can just hit, both, uh, hit the Warrior. And then the Skeleton should also hit the Farmer and the Ice Queen here. Oh, a double hit on the farmer and the ice queen. All right, now now we're going somewhere. Now we're definitely going somewhere. He just double hit the the champion and hitting my satyr and the blacksmith. Okay, let's just double hit his farmer so that she can stop using. Oh, triple hit. 
Never mind. We just took out the farmer. I thought we needed a double hit. Instead, we got a triple hit. And that was enough to take out the farmer. All right. So that's one less troop to worry about, especially with his freaking pumpkins. Sadly, he did take out my champion. So I, I will not know how well the champion was going to do. So let's just... Let's see if we can double hit the, the giant and make the satyr go back and hit the ice queen. Yes, there you go. We actually triple hit the giant as well. That was that was very, very, very important. All right, so his warrior is going to be a problem. So if we can go after the warrior right now, we can definitely do that. Um. Okay. We can enchant the... Yeah, let, let, let's forget about the warrior. Let's actually enchant the skeleton and hit the ice queen. And now his ice queen is dead, so that's good because we didn't want his build, uh, her ability to go off every time it is her turn. So, And now with the satyr and the skeleton being able to tank, we should definitely focus on hitting the warrior since the warrior is one of the most dangerous troops. We don't have a direct line of sight to hit the warrior, so we're going to hit the giant and hope for the best that we can also hit his warrior. There you go, we actually hit the giant and the warrior. We're making some plays, we're making some plays. I'm just hoping that the uh, the satyr does survive this. Nope, 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 nope. All right, so we really do need to take out his his warrior before it's too late. So let's try to double hit his warrior. Um, right here should do the trick. There you go. That was a nice double hit. The skeleton has 328, so the skeleton can survive a little bit longer, but we have to take her out before it's too late. And I think we do have, um, the, the warrior has enough health to be taken out in two hits. So there you go. Now we just got to focus on the giant. The giant doesn't do a lot of damage already. So that means that the giant will need to deal, we have how much health? He will need to deal nine or nine hits on me. Nine hits, and that's including his um, his ability. So that's one. So he needs eight more hits. Yeah, he he can't do it. He can he cannot do it. So we're just going to double hit it like this, and this should be not yet. That is not the game yet. But we'll definitely get there. This is going to be a win. He surrendered. All right, he knows it. All right, so that was a nice little, um, another nice match. Not as close as the last one. The skeleton has been working for me, not going to lie. Let's just continue on. We got two wins. Hopefully, we can continue on with this momentum. One more win. We'll get some gold, I believe. Um, let's actually take the goblin. I, I prefer the archer, but we're going to have to go for that. We have a glass cannon deck. All right, let's see. I mean, now we'll take the genie because... Enchanting is not, or not enchanting, healing up is not going to do very well for me with this deck. It's better for me to give uh, to give them a defensive buff instead. Let's do this. The goblin will get a wall bounce, so he is going to increase his damage. Ooh-wee! And hitting the enchantress as well. All right, that was a good start. Lots of damage to his mice spend and the assassin right there. He is going to hit my genie and, of course, enchant the mice spend it. Now it's going to hit both the goblin and the genie, also enchanting, right? He missed the enchantment. All right, so that's good for me. So let's, I guess we can get a double hit here and then hit the archer. Oh, we somehow double hit the archer with the goblin. All right, so now and my mice bandit is enchanted. All right. So let's um, let's actually enchant the goblin and hopefully we can also hit his assassin. Yes, we were. His assassin is dead. I really wanted to hit the mice bandit as well, so both troops in one hit, but couldn't do that. So now we also have the goblin enchanted, keeping him alive just a little bit longer. He is going to get the attack, the attack, but for the archer, but the archer misses his pl uh, her place. Let's actually hit the genie towards the archer and then hit the enchantress. The archer is dead. The archer is dead and the enchantress is also dead. Now we just gotta worry about the mice spender. Mice spender is already at low health. Plus it is four against one. He can definitely take out both of my troops or two troops like that. See, like that. All right, so, but with my goblin going next, how much health does the mice spender have? 128. Um. It, oh, I, we just gotta hit it towards the blacksmith and it'll be enough damage. All right. 
So there you go for that. A uh, third win, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing very well with this. In this in this draft challenge, I didn't expect to go very far because usually draft challenges mostly requires luck and uh, you know sometimes it is a little bit a little bit difficult to work around that. But you know it is still very good. Ooh, I prefer to enchant. I'm sorry, I prefer to enchant, and uh, we can enchant my troops. So this might be a bad deck. We can pick the frost fox to heal him up. And Ice Queen, why would you pick the Kong? So we'll do that. This might be a bad deck, but we'll see. My Ice Queen goes first, alright. Okay, thankfully his Assassin goes first. So that means his ability will not be used right now. But my Ice Queen's ability will be used in her first turn. Plus we can start poisoning troops or enchant the Ice Queen with, you know, the enchantment. Um, you know, with the Enchantress's ability. Um, actually, I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't. So we're going to try to poison his Rocketeer and the Warlord. Hopefully, we can actually get both of them. There you go. We actually got both of them. So the Ice Queen's ability is going to go off. So if you can poison, plus, you know, the Ice Queen's ability is going to deal about 75 damage. And that's actually much better. So much better. Sorry about the vibrations. Let's hit the Rocketeer and the Assassin right here. And look at that, the Frost Fox also healed up, but look at the troops down there. They're so close together that he can actually hit all three troops there. And my Frost Fox is going to get pushed towards his, towards his Assassin, so we lost the Frost Fox. Oh, that sucks. That indeed sucks. But that's fine. Let's, um... We should be able to enchant the Goblin and my Ice Queen. There you go, we also hit... We also hit his rock, uh, his warlord, and took out his assassin. All right, so now we got uh, three troops to worry about. Thankfully, his bomber did not get the buff, but it is still going to hurt quite a bit. Yeah, that that kind of hurts a little bit. Let's um, we can poison his bomber. Yeah, let's poison the bomber. The bomber ac actually might die here. Oh yeah, he's dead. The bomber's dead. Plus, the ability's gonna go off. All right. So, um, thankfully, the Ice Queen and the Zombie are enchanted, so we should be fine in winning against this, depending on how he plays here with the, with the Dynamite. The Zombie will get hit, but the Ice Queen did not. Okay. Let's just take out his, um, his Warlord. Wow, we actually double hit the Rocketeer. Triple hit, actually, at the end there, and we got another win. Ladies and gentlemen, we are doing awesome. We have four wins in a row. Um, hopefully we can continue on like this because we're we're playing awesome. All right, so let's see if we can find a match because right now it's taking a little bit to find a match here. Can't we? It doesn't seem like we are finding a match. Okay, we just did. All right, so let's see. We gotta pick the Sentinel. The Sentinel is just too. It's just too good. Ooh, Sentinel with the blacksmith so he can survive a little bit longer. Let's pick the striker. Striker paired up with the, the sentinel is really good. Champion paired up with the with the um the sentinel is awesome. Okay, so okay, so he got lucky here. Look at the map that we're playing in, and of course, look at the blacksmith that I have, and he has an armadillo. He got lucky there. An okay start right there. He did play that kind of well. We should be able to hit all. Well, we're probably not gonna hit the hunters four times, so we're gonna do it like this. Twice. Okay, okay, look at that. That was actually even better. We actually hit the Huntress four times and hit the Armadillo twice. That was good. My champion goes next. All right. Ooh, that hurts, man. That hurts. Let's enchant the the champion here. Hopefully, we can also hit a Huntress. But a bing. Okay, no. So, the Huntress got hit by the Blacksmith. And wow, the ability did absolutely nothing. That was a waste. That was a waste. Now he's going to hit my champion. My champion's dead. My champion's dead. And the striker as well. Okay, he just... I I could not do anything. I could not do anything about that. That was just a massacre. Hopefully we can hit this champion right here. There you go. Okay, that was even better. We were able to hit this champion and push him towards the enchantment pillar. 
but now he is going to push the champion towards the enchantment pillar and he just placed the bomb on me. Yeah, this is tough. This is really tough. Um, I mean, I guess we can hit the Drakeling four times, but that I, that's not going to do too much. Oh, never mind. We actually hit the Drakeling three times, not four times. So now he is going to use the Fireball on me. Double Fireball. Triple Fireball. Okay, good game. Yeah, that was very good play right there. We're just going to surrender. There's just no way we're going to win there. He played that super well. I probably could have picked the Cultist, but I, I didn't know. I didn't know. And the champion, the champion didn't do anything there. So we're going to pick we're going to pick the knight. I like I like defensive troops. And okay, Thunder Idol. We're, we need attack troops as well. Puppet Master because we don't have anything to enchant the Seder. And wow, this is bad. We're going to pick the Armadillo because of, he does more damage. But sadly we don't have anything to enchant his troops. Then again, he also has the um He also has the I can't speak, sorry. The Frost Fox. The Frost Fox, so he cannot use his ability, which is to heal every time he hits an enchantment troop. So, in that regard, we're kind of okay. Let's see what he's going to do. Just push the robot towards my Puppet Master. I guess he is trying to focus more on the Puppet Master. Okay. Oh, I was going to hit the Knight, but I guess I can't anymore. So, let's just try to double hit his Mice Bandit. So, let's do that. Okay, so we also hit the Frost Fox. The Frost Fox and the Mice Bandit took a serious amount of damage there. That's good. That is very good. He is still trying to take out my, uh, golly, my Puppet Master. I guess he knows. Let's take out this Mice Bandit. And the Knight also got hit. All right. His Frost Fox is almost dead. All right, I'm happy with this. I am happy with this. His knight goes next. It seems like he is just trying to take out the Puppet Master so that I cannot use you know, the Puppet Master's ability, which it makes sense. It, it obviously makes sense. So let's take out or let's deal damage to the knight and also deal damage to his Frost Fox, taking him out because even though the Frost Fox cannot use his ability, he still packs a punch, you know. He, he deals 81 damage. We don't want that. He is going after my armadillo. Interesting. My thunder idol just died. That's not good. But then again, there goes the puppet. Now we have a puppet on the board. I guess we will just hit the robot towards the puppet master. We failed to hit it towards the puppet master somehow. My puppet master will get hit with a bomb unless he gets moved or hit. He is going to hit the puppet master. And also get hit with the bomb. Alright, so... Oh, never mind. I thought my Puppet Master was going to die there. He did not, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try to hit the Knight towards the Armadillo. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Alright, I definitely needed that. I really, really needed that. Knight being one of the tankiest heroes in the game. He took a serious amount of damage there. Sadly, my Puppet Master died. But, um... We can still work with this. And we also have one Puppet on the board, which we can definitely use if we need it. Okay, we just triple hit the robot there. Now the robot has how much health? 76. And the armadillo does 79. So the armadillo can take out the robot in one hit. Unless he dies right now. He is going after the robot. I mean, the armadillo, sorry. Yeah. Armadillo thankfully survives the hit. But look at the place that look at the place that we have here. This is not good. We're going to play like this. Hopefully we can hit the robot. We were. The bomb is going to hit both the armadillo and the knight. The knight should survive this attack, however. How much health does he have? 95. We have 140. All right, so we are we are surviving a little bit longer. Wow, he played that well. He played that so well. Man, we were doing so good that we just lost two in a row. That was a good play on his part. He, he just took me out in that one move or else I was going to beat him. He played that very, very, very well. That bomb, if it, if it wasn't for that bomb there, I would have won. I just wanted to take out the robot first, but I guess that was a bad play on my part. Let's take the priest to heal up everybody. Definitely taking the assassin, man. The assassin is just so good. Ooh. I guess we'll take the warlord, even though he got he he got nerfed badly. We'll also take the banshee to yeah, we'll take the Banshee just in case if he has something to enchant my troops. He doesn't. I would have preferred, honestly, to take the Werewolf, but 
We'll take the Banshee instead. The Banshee, honestly, decent health and decent damage as well. So we cannot sleep on the Banshee like that, you know? Alright, so... Let's try to double hit the Vampire if we can. And hopefully the Assassin also hits the Vampire here. Yep, there you go. Vampire is dead. Assassin got a speed buff. And of course, we just healed up everybody a little bit. Honestly, one of his main threats is dead. The Cultist has been shining a lot lately, though. The Cultist has been shining a lot. But now we can go after his Paladin, I guess. We can go after his Paladin. Hopefully, we can get multiple hits on the Paladin. We, The Assassin almost got a double hit there. But the Banshee just did extra damage to the Paladin. So now the Paladin is almost dead. Hopefully, we don't get... Whoa. The runes. Look at the runes! Wow, nice play there, dude. Very nice play. Um, we're going to double hit the Paladin here. Hopefully, we can make the Priest go up and hit. There you go. We actually make contact with the Orc twice. That was big. The Priest keeping everybody alive just a little bit longer. I need the Priest to stay alive, man. Alright, that was not you know the best play that he could have done. The Warlord actually got the buff. That's good. So let's actually double hit the Orc here. Hopefully go back and hit the Cultist. The... Wow. The Assassin almost taking out the Orc right there. Alright. So what is he going to do with that um, Cultist? Alright, so I think the Warlord will take lethal damage here. Nope, he is still alive. Alright, he is still alive. Um, I could take out the Orc, but honestly, let's just focus on his Cultist. So we should be able to get a double hit here. Ooh. Ooh! Okay, that was good. That was very good. That was a lot of damage to that Cultist there. If the Warlord would have gotten the buff there, he would have died. Alright, so now my Warlord is dead. Alright, so... Honestly, the Cultist is a, is, a, is a more dangerous troop than the Orc. So let's just push the Assassin towards... Let's just push it towards the Cultist just to take him out right here. There you go. Pretty simple like that. It's now just a... Uh, the Orc goes next and all. He needs to... He needs to figure out a way to win right now. And thankfully, my troops are separated. So he's not going to be able to use his ability on me. Unless he places all the troops together and then hit... But sadly, he could not do that, so we will get the win right here. Okay, there you go. My losing streak is over. I don't know what was happening that we lost two, in, two that we lost two in a row, but we managed to come back from that. And uh, hopefully, we can get one more win so we can get that um, that common orb. Even though it's not a lot, hey man, well I like to I would like to get a free orb, you know. We'll take the blaze, man. We'll take the blaze. Um, ooh. No, we'll enchant his troops. The shaman is just so good. And we'll pick... We'll pick the champion. We'll pick the champion. Um, the, I mean, we need damage. We need damage. My champion actually goes next. Alright, so let's actually enchant his wizard since he does go next. So let's do that. Look at that. We also got the banshee. Oh, we also enchanted the assassin thanks to the, um, the champion's ability. He is going... Just to hit both of them. Okay. I thought... I, th I was expecting a lot more than that. Alright. So let's enchant the assassin again. I don't know if that's going to be enough to take him out because of the goop. Nope. He... The the assassin is surviving with 8 health. Alright. Only 8 health. Since the wraith does go next, I would like to enchant him. Mm. Yeah, let's do it right now since the... Um, the assassin cannot get pushed. <gasps> How did I miss the wraith? Oh no. I'm grateful that my troops are, you know, touching the walls, which means he cannot get hit four times. But still, that was a bad play on his part. Okay. I don't know what he was doing there, but I'll take it. Let's take out that assassin. The assassin is a little bit dangerous. And uh, is the banshee dead? No, the banshee is still alive. The wizard is also still alive. All right. So, like I said, that Wraith needs to get enchanted. So, let's see if we can manage to do it right now. I don't think we can. I don't think we can, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, let's just do this, I guess. The Wraith might get pushed towards the, the Shaman, though. No! We missed it. We missed it. Ugh! Alright, so, again, thankfully, my troops are hugging the wall. But I would like to enchant him so I can get rid of his speed buff. Speedy Wraith is dangerous, dude. Alright. 
All right, we can do it right now. We can do it right now. Yeah, let's do it. And hopefully this will be a double hit as well. That was not a double hit. All right. Thankfully, he lost his speed and attack power. So now he can kill off the shaman if he wants to. The champion is still alive. He fought, he somehow double hit my blaze. That was very interesting. Um, we just double hit. And, uh, okay. My Thunderidol may die here. My Thunderidol may die here. He needs 160 damage, I believe. But, um, he is trying to also take out the champion. He fails to take out the champion. And the Thunderidol does go next. I think I can get a nice little double hit there. And that should be enough for the win. If it's not enough, then we should be able to get a triple hit. There you go. Triple hit. Quadruple hit. Ladies and gentlemen, we just won another match. We got six wins. We do get a common orb. Hey, 200 gold in the common orb is not, you know, big. But I'll take what I can get, man. Like, trying to level up these troops, it is going to be a long ride. So I'll take whatever I can get at this point. So, there you go with that. We are halfway there to completing this challenge. But we only have one life. So if we do lose once, then that's going to be the end of the run. So hopefully... That is not the case, and hopefully we can get some good cards. Blacksmith, do not take the con. Um, nope, we'll take the Drakeling. We don't need another enchantment cards for me. We'll also take the Yeti. I've seen Yetis, you know, doing really good. Take the Seder, man. We gotta take the Seder. Blacksmith Seder combo is really good. So we'll do that. Alright, so let's let's enchant the Yeti, and this should also be able to enchant the Seder and hopefully deal some damage. There you go, 80 damage. 80 damage to the Yeti. All right, off to a decent start. We can enchant the the Drakeling if we want to, or we can push troops towards the Seder maybe. Uh, you know what? We can do that. Push the Seder towards the Barbarian and enchant the Drakeling here. Fireball is going to hit the Jaguar. That was okay. That was okay, and now everybody's enchanted. Now we should have a game. Now we should definitely have a game here. He is not going after the Drakeling, and that's the Jaguar's ability right now. And he's in, interestingly did not go after that. So let's do this. Hit the wall, and then hope we can. We should be able to hit the Yeti. Oh, the Fireball hits the Yeti and the Priest. Okay, that was nice. He is going after my Drakeling now. The Barbarian is going to get buffed a smidge. Okay, thankfully that was he didn't do anything too crazy with that Yeti right there, and. Uh, we're going to have to do this, man. We're going to have to push the Yeti and just see if we can just do more damage. We do get a fire damage there, but not not a lot, you know. I mean, his priest is what's keeping his troops alive, obviously. So I think it's best to take out his priest first. Eww. But look at the damage that we can do to the Barbarian, you know. Yeah, we got to go for after that, man. Hit the Dragon's Hand first. And... Okay, and now we'll burn all three of them. Alright, so now the Barbarian is almost dead. He is going to use his ability. He might hit the Drakeling. No, thankfully he, he missed the Drakeling, but he did take out my Seder. Alright, so now, now we are in the pickle here. We are now in the pickle. Uh, let's just hit the, Drake, the, the Jaguar and the Barbarian here. Fireball. Oh, actually, I think the Fireball activated the Dragon's Hand to take out that Barbarian there. That was actually quite lucky. The Jaguar's ability will work on the Drakeling, so that is going to hurt even take out the Drakeling right there. Okay, okay, okay. So, not good. Not good at all. Let's hit the Jaguar. If the Yeti sh gets a, a second hit, which he should, hopefully it'll hit. Actually hit the Jag... Uh, sorry, the Yeti. We'll take it. Alright, so... This is becoming a little bit dangerous. The Wow, he actually missed. Or, you know, you know what I mean. Like, I thought he was going to hit the um, the blacksmith. He actually failed. Let's see if we can double hit the priest here. There you go. Also hitting the um, the jaguar. That was pretty nice. Um, the jaguar does need to die. He is going to push the jaguar towards the yeti. He is still alive, though. Um... Hmm. I don't know how we're going to do this, though. 
Let's see if we can, uh, actually no, hit the dragon's hand. And then we'll burn. So that way we can just deal damage to multiple troops. And this is just, this is just still dangerous, dude. He is going to take out my Yeti. He has to take out my Yeti. It is not enough unless he gets a double hit. No, it is, wow, it is not enough. But now every single one of my troops are one hit away from death. Yep, this is a loss, ladies and gentlemen. This is a loss. This is a loose. How is his Jaguar still alive? How much health does he have? 19 health. Yeah, that's game. All he has to do is touch the dragon sand. You don't even need to hit the Yeti. Oh, never mind. His Yeti was there to give a little bump to the blacksmith for the... Well, for his win. Sadly, that was my loss. And that was and that is going to be the end of the run. Six wins. That is pretty good for a draft challenge. So let's just open up the rewards. And with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. We're that that was that was okay. Plus, we got some Nagas. Hey man, well, I'll take as many Nagas as possible to try to get, you know, try to gather to level 25. Um, but yeah, guys, if you guys have any recommendations that you want to see. Nuzlocke, um, you know, Hyper Boost. It could be anything. Oh, sorry about the notification. Let me get rid of that. But yeah, guys, if you have any recommendations at all, just let me know down, uh, down in the comments below, and I'll certainly do it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thanks again for your continued support, guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care.